I would like to... All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Do good work, I must say. I have to go. See you soon. Be well, my friend. Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure. Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at meal times, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. That assembly of traitors act like all is well. One day, I will head down there and render them eternally nude, as God wanted.
A fair dame joins the ranks of the liberated. Dear friend, relax your body and cast away your loins. Greetings, dame. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. There's a fresh, gorgeous beast of a soul joining us. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Just put your... Hey! Stop that! Put it down! you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. Oh. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful! Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings, a breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy. Be well, Winchell the chest free. himself, lord and protector of this verdant land. Please, I seek a strong union to establish my kingdom. This is your kingdom, you say? Indeed it is. Northex. And I am its first and reigning king, Equald. And as sovereign, I seek a keen ally to secure my strength. Kingdom? This island here? Yes, from shore to shore. My brothers and I came upon this unclaimed land some months ago, and found it suited to our ambitions. Sadly, my brothers were drowned in a terrible squall soon after, along with our riches. There was an arm ring among them. To you I offer this arm ring, in exchange for my loyalty. Find the ring among the wreck, and you may call a king your friend. A good arm ring can be as important as blood to the heart. If I find it, I will let you know. What do you see, Sunan? Oath. Unworth. 
found your arm ring amidst the wreckage of your ship. By all that is great, I cannot believe my eyes and ears. Now you are pledged to the kingdom of Northex. That will show him. Your past is dubious. I cannot trust a man who lost his brothers so easily and so suspiciously. What really happened? Nothing! The arm ring is mine. MINE! This kingdom was to be one of the greatest in England. The ring shine has blinded you. You finished! Now I blind you with blood, you sucker! You have broken a sacred alliance with the greatest kingdoms! Randy mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army. A friend and ally. I'm looking for the Summer Army. <laughs> Camp leader is up top. You can't miss him.
Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grundbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yalsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. See you, old friend. We will attack on sight here. The summer cannot be far. I should have a look around. Sample to the others. Lord Wigman's wrath is as grand as it is swift.
using shrubs for cover. for now. Is your Jarl's corner nearby? Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from the longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. Not breathing, how are you? Take a walk about the camp. Your strength will return. We will re Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash. Wrap it well. Ego. Ego, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest.
quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grandbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grand Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grand Bridge? The elder man Wigmund seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grand Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Long and hot, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. <gasps> I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retaking the city. You think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we will find them. Danes held captive.
From my sails. You if you would be so kind, to me. I've had Thank quite the day. Look through the fog, Leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we've found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. Thank you so <sighs> much. Leaf is a prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. And builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grand Bridge alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and canny, and hard to pin down. Like a fish wriggling free of a net. Show me what lies ahead. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp, and as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. Leif and Galen didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grand Bridge. Sour blood between them, in a way. Both considered themselves my second and hated the other for it. But I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is stoked right. Go, my eyes.
Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. That's Birna, for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Great. Soma! I knew I heard someone sweeping the hearth outside. We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Follow on, Birna. Leif and Galen are safe at the camp we've made. Eivor, you meet us there when you're ready. Thank you, Soma. And you stay focused. Have a look, Sunan. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... Well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at a break of dawn's light, we retake Grandbridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp.
Leaf. Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leaf. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. But Wigman's men hunted us, pierced my boy through his heart. He hadn't seen his 16th summer. Ah, we'll make him pay the blood debt, him and all his Saxon allies. Galen, is that right? That's right. You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. You are Birna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me, and by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grand Bridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. Let's get out of here. Run up the sail! of the door. Move when you get the signal and not a moment before. Wakeman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him, he will reject my offer of peace, and our conversation will have a surprise ending.
Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman! Wigman! Let's try one final time! Quit Grant Bridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grant Bridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear! The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grandbridgeshire, retake what's yours. <laughs> No time for that. You must free her first. Your side, Soma. <laughs> Raise your hand to me, fucking Christ! Strike for Christ! I'm the last of these whelps. Yeah! 
let your plague-ridden body feed my fields. Eivor, to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the shards...